This episode of MMA Notes is brought to you by Plunge. Easy to use, reliable cold plunges at affordable prices. Save $150 off with code MMA. Sienna mattress. Sleep like an exhausted bear in the winter. Save $200 off any mattress with code GWFIT. Bulletproof coffee. Power your mind, fuel your body, and unleash your limitless potential. Save 20% off with code BPMMA20. Tire buyer. Get fast, free delivery on tires to their network of 10,000 plus local tire shops and mobile installers. Save 15% off all installed tires with code MMA15. Excludes Ironman brand, must ship to installer. Defense soap, everyday soaps for everybody. Use code MMA Nuts to save 15% off your order. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts, episode 567. 567! My name is Ingo Weigel. Back with the MMA Show, by my fans, for our fans, walk live, tweet serious. And ridiculous. What's happening? What flavor am I drinking? Lemon lime. Nope. Uh, I can't tell. Cream soda. Yes. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> it's the light. It's the light. It makes it look yellow, but the can mm-hmm. is actually more like a creamy cream. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We're back to this whole. It's hot as fuck in the Midwest, and upstairs on the top floor i have to wear shorts no t-shirt on the middle floor i have to wear shorts and t-shirt and down here i have shorts and sweatshirt and i may have to put pants on yeah it's the same here (laughs) it's that cold down here it's like an ice box that's true true that we're finally back back from vacation vacation. i was in Mm -hmm. florida for 10 days doing a little universal little disney little sanibel island did you see mickey I did. I saw, uh, and it's weird too, because Universal seemed like a little bit older crowd, but more in shape. And then you went to Disney. I'm like, look at all the fat fucks here. Oh my God. The amount of people out of shape and the amount of people riding scooters around and me, me, and the amount of old people riding scooters with a little kid while they're waiting in line, letting the kid keep beeping the horn. I'm like, you need to get that kid to stop beeping the goddamn horn. All right. I'm getting feisty waiting for some fucking ice creams but overall it was good good time just hot as fuck high 90s sweating through shirts and then the ride back was like a covid infested flight that i told you there's five hackers on the flight two people bring their dogs on the fucking airplane now like what is this shit like there just, there's a dog behind me then there's a dog in first class i'm like what the fuck is going on here it's called an emotional support animal man mm. Surprisingly, none of them made any sounds, and there were a ton of kids, and none of them made any sounds. And I, I almost got in trouble on the airplane, which was weird because you know we're we're two rows away from first class, and so my bathroom is in front of me. So I'm like, oh, I see the green light on, so I start walking up. And as I'm walking up, the flight attendant moves the food cart and blocks the bathroom way. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird as I'm walking up. And then as I'm walking up, I see the captains coming out. I'm like, uh, what's going on? I see the captain go like this to me. And I take a few more steps and he goes, go sit down. I'm like, what the fuck is this about? I'm like, okay, sorry. I'm like, I had no idea that they were blocking that off so that the captain could come out and go to the bathroom. I'm like, uh, maybe you guys want to say something? Because I don't want that guy to think I'm bum rushing the cockpit when all I have to do is piss. <laughs> you do look suspicious, though, man. I do. Very suspicious. It's fucking bizarre. But it's anyway. the beard. How was the beard with all that humidity? It was fine. No okay. issues. Yeah. It was all good. All right. Nice and moisturized for all that. Yeah. All the sun. Yep. The sun. Mm-hmm. Nice and hot. And then we get back for a little uh, UFC 275 action. I saw a neat poster for that. I want to show you this one. This should be like the real poster. Like this kind of oh, shit. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Like, that's I, got like, that. I feel like they did something similar before to that. Or someone did. Something yeah, this too- is like a 80s, 90s video game or something. Uh-huh. I like the little midget guys in the, at the bottom. Yep. Hey, speaking of guys, let's talk about our sponsor. Manscaped. 
Yeah, go ahead. You could start us off. Gentlemen, Father's Day is just around the corner, probably four or five days by the time you watch the show. And our friends at Manscaped are here to ensure all the father figures out there are looking daddy material this June. Because you got to know who's your daddy. That's right. Manscaped's performance package 4.0, which includes their signature lawnmower 4.0, is the perfect bundle to tackle any and all old man or young man hair from head to toe. This right here is no dad joke. Treat him and yourself and join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer. Get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. Trust me, his dad bod will thank you. I, I thought this was hot God summer. <laughs> it's hot dad summer. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, hey, dads, buy this for yourself. Sons, buy this for you and your dad. Ladies, buy this for your man and dog daddies. You deserve this treat too. What the hell does that mean? Now I'm in the dogs or shaving. Maybe I'm just a professional groomer at this point. So proceed. Uh, you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. Shake what your mama gave you. Nah, shake what your daddy gave you. Word. <laughs> I don't know. So exactly. speaking of ads, let me just say the amount of ads on the broadcast is out of control. So let me share my screen real quick. So first off, we're, we're double tiering the ads here. We're triple tiering from inner octagon circle to here, to here, to the beams, to the side beams, to the middle, to the, I'm like, oh my God. And during the broadcast, I think I counted, we're doing two ad reads per round and one between rounds. Like, it's just like, when do we stop? When do we say it's too many ads because it's fucking <laughs> super distracting. Now. I blame Joe Biden. Seriously, it's, it's someone, someone's got to pay a price. Someone, it's his fault for everything. The gas prices, the COVID, the inflation, and the ads on the UFC broadcast. It is all his fault. And I think I, the other thing I want to say before we talk about any fights, I don't like the three-man booth. It's so talky. Because you got DC and Michael Bisbing, and and Bisbing just likes to go blah 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 blah, and Daniel Cormier's got to get his in, and then Annex over here trying to get his fucking ad reads in. It's way too much fucking talking. Sometimes you gotta let it marinate. You don't need to talk all the fucking time. Just let let the fight progress and tell me what you're seeing in there, not here's what this fucking guy ate for dinner, and this was what this guy needs to do. It's like too much bullshit going on. I blame Bisbing for a lot of it. And it's a problem, I think, too, when you have two alphas in there because everyone's got to get their point across. Like, just shut the fuck up sometimes because <laughs> I, I muted the broadcast because it's just, it's not good. I agree. So. I, I listen to my broadcast in Espanol. This way I don't have to know what they're saying. It's probably better <laughs> trying to translate it. I don't yeah. even speak Spanish. So <laughs> that's just... even better, right? <laughs> yeah. A goal! <laughs> that's probably the only thing they say so where, which fight do you want to start with uh, let's have... let's start with glover versus okay. right um this fight i mean a lot of action i would say I, there's some complaints i read on some of the forums about oh this is their worst fight i thought it was quite exciting they beat the crap out of each other for like four good rounds um and i wanted to show you uh, Obviously, uh, Glover channeling his inner trail son and in losing this fight in epic fashion <laughs> right at the end. So, I mean, I don't know if this, I feel bad for him because I like him. But yeah. I, according to the judges, sure. the scorecards I have here, he was winning this fight. And it's in agreement that the first two rounds were all Glover. Um, uh, one judge scored it a 10-8 round for round three for Yuri. And then Glover recovered um, in round four. and round five, I think he was on his way of, to win the title or keep the title, I should say. Yeah, I was. Uh, look, um, I'm looking back at my scorecard. So I had it two two going into the fifth, and you did. Yeah, but I mean, I, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, so I wrote if if it goes to the judges, Glover probably wins. Yeah, as he should have. Yeah, but uh, talk about the age discrepancy too, because Glover is 42. And Yuri is a fucking 29. So that's a hell of a difference. So I just thought it was, it was 
sloppy, but it was a back and forth fight. So entertaining. entertaining. Yes, yes, entertaining, I would say. But sloppy as fuck because both guys. And it just seemed Glover was just more interested in takedowns and ground and pound. And, and Yuri with his fucking... He's got to get careful with that stand up because hands down most yeah. of the time and getting clipped. Well, I feel like Glover had a tactical error. He went he went for grappling when he had Yuri visibly like st- stunned and wobbled in that. And I don't know why he did that. Maybe he was tired. I think he could have KO'd him in that last round, but he decided to go for like was a guillotine, right? And then that's what started. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. The whole he transition. Went for the, like, I hate that. Like, why are you jumping? Because you're trying, he's to he was trying to pull him down and put himself on his back like you just lost position there yes. i always fucking hate that like never lose the position for that submission that's right like go forward with it then if you want to take that isn't that a shirt position before submission yeah <laughs> but that's why i would never do that like never put yourself backwards go forward with that no. so if you want it no um so i mean they won fight of the night so uh, understandably so i mean it was it, i thought it was entertaining mm-hmm. it was as i'm choking on my drink over here but i did <laughs> find okay? the mute button thankfully <laughs> good he's still coughing you those of you watching you can see it but those of you listening you can only hear that's me. true <laughs> and he's back <laughs> I uh, am. so i don't know um too bad for glover but like you said yuri i, I think he's better he's gonna need to uh shore up his game a little bit but because he's He's going to have a short-lived title reign here. And congrats to these guys. Finally, the light heavyweight division has some fucking action. Like, hello. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, so I think it's good. It's good for his sport. We need action. We need a little transition, too. But I think that's probably it for Glover as far as uh, oh yeah title. I think he wanted to fight again. Like, I think he wants a rematch. But mm-hmm. at this point... Let's just move along. Like, no more fucking immediate rematches for title mm-hmm. yeah. shot. No <clears throat> so let's talk about the Valentina Shevchenko versus Tyla Santos. That one was very confusing to me. <laughs> so I had a uh, first round Santos, second round close. I gave that to Shevchenko. Third round Santos, and then I have fourth round Shevchenko, fifth round Shevchenko. So I have Shevchenko winning. I will say it was a close fight, but just wild because I didn't think this was going to be close at all, but it was Shevchenko first round makes a mistake. I got to cough again here. Now I'm going to be coughing. All good. I'll keep the show rolling. Perfect. So she makes that mistake on a takedown because I think she had double underhooks. She's trying to do something weird. Mm-hmm. Jen's up on her back with a body triangle and getting threatened with a rear naked choke. And then they keep, and then the annex got to go and Amazon with the new series, the boys like what the fuck? call the fight. Quit fucking doing a bullshit. But whenever Santos had a dominant position on the ground, she did fucking did nothing with it. Like, what are you doing? You have the position, do some shit. So uh weird headbutt in round three that wasn't caught but accidental so that i think was the turning point in the fight because after that fucking santos can't see out of her left eye that was a huge problem so then it's like fourth rounds all shevchenko fifth round all shevchenko so uh split decision win for her surprising though so you see a little chink in her armor and I think Misha Tate's getting wet over this, like going, you know, I'm dropping down to 125 now, and I can probably grapple fuck you into a win, and which is possible. It's just weird strategy from Shevchenko. Like she should have kept that fight at distance all the time, but she kept trying to close the distance and clinch up. And then Santos was way better, like getting takedowns and um, controlling her on the ground. So I don't know what's next for either of them. Uh, let's you want to move to the next fight or do you have anything else? I have, to... no, I have nothing else to add. Okay. I'm just, I will just say that I'm very sad for Joanna. May she rest in peace. Has retired <laughs> yeah. after, after losing to, to Zhang via spinning back fist. 
I don't was going to say, I think I enjoyed that fight the most because you had a super aggressive Wei Li just bulldogging Joanna, going forward yeah. with takedowns and ground and pound, and then it's fucking spinning back fist. And I had a cough again. God damn it. <laughs> That's okay. She, uh, you know, she didn't want to leave anything up to question. I think she was just came out flying. So yeah, and I think they said Wei Li landed at like a 72 percent rate or something fucking ridiculous oh that's crazy because it seemed it like high. joanna was not fighting at range like she like she should have a 10 foot uh reach advantage based on the height but she kept fighting like in a fucking phone booth like where why aren't you fighting at distance and i think uh, Wei Li was doing good because she kept push kicking joanna but she was push kicking her to keep her out of range, which was weird. So mm-hmm. Joanna just was like, I just want to get in close. Didn't work out. Now she kind of retires, but I don't know. I, I mean, think you, she'll be back. You can't. She said she she's says. what 30. She says she's 35 and she wants to be a mom. So I think that's the thing with her. So we're going to look at Amanda Nunes. She, she was a mom. So maybe she just needs to pop that out. Misha Tate's a mom, right? Pop pop out the baby, and then she'll be back. Yeah, and then just get back in there. Rub some dirt on it, get back in there. And then weren't we supposed to get Luke Rockhold versus Paulo Costa on this? But something oh. happened, and that fight fucking got moved to, uh, I think, August 20th or something stupid. Oh, I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah. You, what happened? I think something with Costa. Of course. Yeah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Like he knew he was going to be 55 pounds overweight. So he's like, (laughs) you know what? Can we just move this a month later? So I'll be 35 pounds overweight instead of 55, you know? Mm -hmm. Speaking of being overweight, I hear we have another sponsor called Eat Sleep. Ah, yeah. Well, Weird segue, but okay. Welcome our new partner, <laughs> Eight Sleep. You can use code MMA50 for $50 off the Pod Pro and Pod Pro cover. You can stack the offer on top of any global promotion that is running site wide. As you know, good sleep is the ultimate game changer and nature's best medicine. I thought weed was, but apparently it's a good sleep. Good sleep probably rivals anything else. Consistent good sleep can help reduce the likelihood of serious health issues and go. Moving right along. I agree. Yeah. And uh, I have personal experience with this. They shipped a a sample over and we are doing some home remodeling and I'm, I'm having to sleep on that third floor. I talked about, I saw your dog jumping all over the bed. What's up with that? Shirts are optional. (laughs) Uh, And I will say this has kept sleep cooler than way cooler and i was able to get decent night's sleep using this product um and you can adjust it with your with your smartphone it like it lets you like go like that's minus, high tech man I, minus 100 plus 100 <laughs> I, I don't know if i would have to cook you're gonna myself, get hypothermia <laughs> yes <laughs> you can but go the hypoth- best night's sleep ever well you can go to bed in hypothermia and wake yeah. up in the desert so it's like you you perfect treat, doesn't matter so Remember to go to 8sleep.com and use MMA50 at checkout to save $50 on Pod Pro or Pro Cover. 8sleep ships to the US, the UK, Ooh. Canada, and Australia. That's good to know. I didn't know they were uh, semi international. Global. A global reckoning force coming to your town. Yes. What else is happening out there? You want to see the UFC card this weekend? Not uh, bad. Really? Yeah. I- because they also moved i think this was another fight that might have been on the card so main event is uh calvin Qatar versus josh emmett so it's a solid fight josh and then Emmett's here's this fighting, huh? yeah here's this cerrone versus joe lozon fight oh sleeper oh, yeah this, this is a free card isn't it yeah and then tim means and kevin holland that should be a good fight too mm-hmm. so you got three solid a couple other guys a couple other guys they're fighting Doing things. I don't know why we still can't. Kurt get McGee. On the He's still country. alive. I thought, wasn't he in someone's corner? Uh, it wasn't he in Glover's corner? I think he was in Glover's corner. Eddie Wingland. He's still going at it. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's a decent card for free. Looks decent. Well, yeah. Got that one going on. What else is happening out there? Uh... Well, former 
UFC champ Holly Holm inducted to the International Boxing Hall of Fame. I got pictures. Hold on. Yeah, she looked like she's been working out biceps. So she's like looking pretty swole there. Look at that. Yeah, I saw some other image of her where it was just all arms. And maybe it was at the podium when she was uh, accepting. Oh, right here? Nope, it's not working. I'll stop the share. But I don't think it's on her Instagram. Anyways, I did. Was she doing one of these? No, she was just standing regular, but like she looks yoked. Like, holy fuck. Like, pretty ripped. Mm -hmm. so good for her. Probably well deserved. I would say yes. And then did you hear like Mark Munoz, former UFC fighter? He was apparently a high school wrestling coach, and a mm -hmm. couple of students had some kind of an issue came up to him and said uh, they wanted to box each other. So he let them put on some boxing clubs and go at it. And he said it, it was more playful than violent. And then I guess one of the boys' parents cried to the school district and Muniz gets fired and basically loses his deal. So what's wrong with what he did? Like, why can't you... It's It seems to me like it's a safer environment. Like, okay, these guys are going to potentially hurt each other but now i can keep it a controlled environment and make it a little bit safer yeah and he's obviously got the skills to know when it <laughs> when it needs to stop and when it needs to continue mm -hmm. i don't know yeah I'm, I'm okay with him doing that necessarily uh i don't know everyone's soft what state was this in it's a good question i'm not sure isn't he from hawaii maybe no i thought he was uh... from, from hawaii but uh i don't know it seems odd to me. Oh no, uh, Anaheim, California. Just found it. It's like fucking California, and we can't like put b boxing gloves on and scrap. That's ridiculous. Because my brother, I forgot where he was an instructor, but he was teaching boxing at some university in California. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you can't do boxing in high school. You can do wrestling. I don't know. To me, it just seems like that is a safe environment. And how do you prevent people from getting hurt? Put boxing gloves on and let them fucking slug. Maybe they didn't have mouthpieces. Maybe they didn't have headgear. But wouldn't you rather them put the gloves on and swing it out versus uh, bare knuckling that shit? I would say yes. I mean, they yeah. let them play football, which is right. pretty rough, right? Yeah. I, I have no problem with that. I think the school district is a bunch of fucking pussies. And uh, you got to let the guys swing it out. It's not like he's like <laughs> the fucking elbows. It's a pride rules, pride rules, soccer kicks. <laughs> then I might have a problem. We're or fucking he was, soccer he was like our old coach. He's like, you're doing it wrong. Let me show you leg kick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you take to never show pain. Yes. You'll <laughs> never show weakness. <laughs> Now I leg kick you and break your leg. <laughs> like such the wrong way to coach, but luckily we were not on the receiving end. Oh, thank God. It was day one of Spar class. Anyway, moving right along. Let's uh let show you some KOs. You want to see some KOs? Sure. I don't know if we have volume. Uh I'll try a little bit of volume and then if I have to back away, I'll back away. Oh, this so, again. Yeah. Apparently, you could do headbutts in this league. Like that. And that's that. Ouch. A little headbutt KO. Nothing wrong with a little headbutt action. And here's another nice KO. This one's in the sand. I think we've seen this one years ago. But I'm always a fan of a little MMA in the sand. Well, that's, uh, that seems fairly safe. <laughs> I like the sweat, the sweat rip here, and the sound like a baseball bat into a side of beef. Uh, I'm just gonna go to sleep now. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> That's brutal. Yeah, I'll give you one more for the road. This is uh, this one's offensive. It's Dan Henderson esque in his uh, performance here. I don't know how much volume I have, but 
left hook and oh jesus <laughs> drop the hammer <laughs> that's when you don't like someone michael bisbing and he's just like <sighs> too bad so sad anyway what else is going on out there on that note we got a little midget versus porn star fighting are you ready for this uh-huh. there we go oh, no. oh. this is plank nice hold on a second is this legal? I never, I never, I never have uh, any luck with. There we go. Is this street it? legal? Oh my god, I'm, I'm down with whatever's going on. But she's not really trying to hurt him. She's punching him in the arm. She is. Oh, he goes for the takedown. That's a smart move. And then go for the hump. Are we just punching arms? Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, so he's like, come on, back to standing. That to me get you. Oh, she's gonna oh. try to pull guard. Yeah, she is. She's trying, and then he's just too... Who's this guy? <laughs> this is... <laughs> I don't know. The that guy's just like jerking off. He's like, should like, I jerk right. off? <laughs> Can I get away with this? Grab his dick and twist it. Twist his dick. <laughs> Where's that guy when you need him? Uh, Fuck, man. Okay, I think you. <clears throat> hold on, there's. They're all into it. There's a point where some action happens. Let me fast forward a little bit. Oh, Whoa! Here. Hey now. She's now that she's punching him, trying to get him off. He's like, mm. nope. Anyways, there's always like a third man in. The third yeah. player has just entered. Yes. There you go. You've seen it all. I love it. Whatever these leagues are, I love. I saw they just announced uh, MVP Michael Venom Page is going <laughs> to fight Mike Perry in Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship on August 20th. Whoa. That sounds uh, impressive. It sounds like not a good idea for MVP because Mike Perry is built for a Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. And MVP relies on the kicks and distance and all his bullshit. Like that is not going to work in bare knuckle. <laughs> like fucking MVP is going to get knocked the fuck out. Potentially. I'll caveat that. He might surprise us. You never, yeah. Know. I mean, he, he, he is an elite striker, but you're in a smaller fucking thing. And when you start, you're like fucking toe the line. Yeah, I love this fight though, and kudos to Bellator, right? To loan out a fighter. I'm sure they're getting a cut. Yeah, because I I want to say there was a rumor about Triller. I forgot who owns what, but I feel like somehow they're involved with all the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, Bellator. Like they're doing some kind of behind the scenes stuff, is what I'm hearing. So we'll see. I think I still have the bare knuckle app. I think I yeah. just, yeah, I, I want to say it's four ninety nine a month or something like that, but I don't know if that one is like, do you have to buy the app or pay the four ninety nine and then buy the pay-per-view like ESPN? Like, I'm not sure how that one works anymore. Like I have so many fucking apps. I don't know what's going on. Like between that, you have showtime. There's the zone. Like, and then add in all the other bullshit, Disney. Are they doing fights on Disney? They might as well. No, you can't have fights on Disney. Are you crazy? Are you crazy, Matt? You're Sometimes. crazy. You're crazy, man. Sometimes. Too much, you spend too much time in the hot sun. I did. That's why I'm not even wearing a hat anymore. It was so hot. I couldn't even wear a fucking baseball hat. I, I did it one day. I said, never again. I'm not fucking wearing a hat. I'm so hot. So, hey. Hence, go ahead. Speaking of hot. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. How hot are you going to get? It's time for another Manscaped promotion. Oh, dun, okay. Dun, dun. I'm working on that. I had actually, you lined up perfect where I lined it up. So cue dramatic music you just did. Hey, gentlemen, <laughs> I'm a step behind and two steps That's ahead. Right. You caught up. We're good. That's right. Gentlemen, all men strive for gold in their life, right? Gold medals, gold watches, gold everything, gold kicks. However, there is a certain type of man who goes the extra mile. He walks with the confidence of an eagle and giggles in the face of danger. 
He's a big hairless winning machine. And when he unzips his pants, he sees platinum, like platinum Mike Perry. That's right, Manscaped. We'd like to introduce you to their best and biggest ultimate hygiene bundle yet, the Platinum Package 4.0. I just had another side thought, but I got to save it for later. Manscaped is a leader in below the waist grooming. Now trust them with the whole shebang. Uh, join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com slash MMA nuts for 20% off plus free shipping. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. They designed this package to allow you to fully align your entire hygiene routine with Elite products, okay? They even threw in two free gifts to their Platinum Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Bring your comfort and boxers to another level. That's right. You, I don't know. Get 20% <laughs> off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. It's time you enjoy the finer things in life and get yourself a platinum package for your platinum package. Yes. You know, platinum package. So apparently Mike Perry's girlfriend has kind of blown up a little bit. Uh oh, put on our ex girlfriend. Uh, there's some threads on the underground that uh -oh. you can take a look at. I'm just saying, she put on a little weight. But speaking of hot ladies, let's do a hot lady run right now. Misha Tate, she's doing a throwback picture. She says, throwing it back 10 years to a photo shoot I did in 2012. Whoa, good lord, she's fit as fuck. Going down to up there, 125. And then she also recently posted some uh, workout video. I can pull this shit up here. I don't know. Goddamn Twitter just wants to randomly start playing. Like it burns so bad. I don't know what we're doing here, Misha Tate. What is she doing? Some sort of core workout, looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to say I, I like it. You can work that core all day, lady. So uh, I saw her, and then th these are always confusing pictures when I post them. Uh, Chris Cyborg. Hmm. hmm. Fighters Magazine. Is she wearing anything? Probably a phone. Hmm. Oh, well, hopefully not. <laughs> Uh, let's see Kay Hansen working out while we're doing all this stuff. I got to just run through all the ladies because they, they do hard work and you have to appreciate the hard work they're all putting in. They're doing work. Oof. I think this is called the clean and jerk me off. It is. She's doing it barefoot though, huh? Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of barefoot working out. I don't know why everyone's into that shit supposed to be better for foot strength i'm not buying into it i need to protect my feet at all times and then uh here's a reason we need some wild volume and hopefully there's not music playing uh if you're a lady uh be careful while you work out that's all i'm gonna say here oh man oh, oh shit <laughs> I got a little replay on that. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Ouch. Be careful out there, ladies, if you're going to use some straps and doing stuff. That's painful. What else is going on out there? Uh, I got one last clip, and it's of our friend, Mr. You'll see. Someone recently told me that my TikToks were too long, and that's why I'm not getting more followers. So uh, from now on, that was weird. What was that sound? Did you hear that sound? Mm -mm. Okay, good. Do you see? Do you notice who that is? Yeah. Someone recently told me that my TikToks were too long, and that's why I'm John not Jones getting more followers. So uh, from now on, dog. yeah. It's that's his dog, apparently. <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of dogs on the plane, so we're just uh, talking about that. What yeah, we the were. fuck is going on in this yeah, world? There. He brought his dog and bought him his own seat. <laughs> Well, good for him because I don't, some of the people on my flight, well, they had tiny dogs. So they were, they were lap riding, which I don't, if you're going to bring a fucking animal on, 
pay for their own seat. You want to see what 99 flexibility and Madden looks like? I think we've already seen this, but I'll share this. Ooh. Oh. That's aggressive. Yeah, it was loud. Let's see that again. What huh. is happening? 99 flexibilities. That's pretty good. Yep. She's like ex over flexible, not even yep. like 90 degrees. True that. Like 200 degrees. And then Marius Bujanowski had a fight over the weekend or did, did he turn over verbal? the past two weeks? No, surprisingly, not this time. So I'm going to share not with sound. Let me bump this uh, up a little bit. They're doing those stick on ads, huh? Oof. Overhand to uppercut and slippy oh, uh, with a hammer fist. That's it. You look a lot smaller. Yeah. Well, he probably figured out like I don't need to be super strong anymore and focus a little more on cardio so I don't purple out. Yeah, I didn't know people were doing those fucking weird fake tattoos anymore. So that's weird. And one of these weird leagues again. Apparently, we're going to do a woman versus two men. But I, I think the two men may be on the spectrum because look at their fighting style here. It, they just run face first, hands down. Face first, hands down. Is How's this going to work out? This looks like the same promotion that I showed something yep. from earlier. <laughs> Face first, hands down. He slept that guy. Yeah. Oh, man. And then the other guy's going to trip over him. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What is going on? Looks like child abuse to me. It might be. You want to see a leg kicking contest? We're just going rapid fire. This, this reminds me of college where me and one of my friends used to just punch each other in the arm until we'd said stop, but we'd always quit at the same time. So this is a straight up leg kicking contest. We're just like, go ahead, kick me. Whack. Stupid. Seems like a good way to hurt yourself. Yep. Is someone going to break their leg? Hopefully. I mean, they just keep going back and forth. I don't think anybody really wins, but you tough, I tough. Good yeah. Job. Good job. And then, the, so of uh, leg kicking contest. So we just saw that one. I, I need to know which one you prefer. Do you prefer the one we just saw, or do you prefer this leg kicking contest? Oh, good lord, for sure this one. What is happening? I don't know. You know, just trying to make a fair fight, right? It's interesting. I feel like you got to double up though. I feel like headbutt like a, should be legal. Like a one-two? Yeah, but double up, like two left kicks. This is just weird to watch. This almost looks fake. Yeah. Like, like it's been Oh, the spinning kick, and then he just belly bumps him. Oh, I, I would rub that nub in your fucking grill. Like, oh, nub fuck you. Eat my nub. That's right. Oh, what is going on here? The guy keeps trying spinning shit. Anyway. Strange things are afoot. Let's do a little tweet of the week. We got tree. Yeah, do it. I don't even know what I have. Oh, there we go. Got to love playoff hockey again. We've got a couple of these. It's like just when you think the Battle of Alberta can't get any better, triple set of boobies behind the bench tonight. One, two, tree. And then we have a live action shot. Oh, hang on. This is Twitter video again, so I will fuck it up every time. Moving right now. Look at that. You got cowgirls. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. They're like, woo, woo, woo. Unfortunately, Edmonton lost. Ow. And one last one for Tweet of the Week. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Oh, I, th I swear I've heard this phrase before, but we'll post it again. It's like every girl is bi. You just have to figure out if it's polar or sexual. I swear <laughs> we've seen that. Sounds really familiar. Yes. Yes. Uh, 
let's do a little ask the nuts as we're moving along at light speeds here i just gotta ask what the hell is wrong with people i don't know oh my <laughs> god why exactly that guy's not what is he him. what are you trying to prove you guys got yeah. a brick balls of steel he's like let, let me push my balls into my stomach and then just rack me is that a know. thing can you really do that well he's doing something that guy's way too happy for racking his grandpa maybe he's got his balls wrapped up in there like what in some special underwear maybe <laughs> i don't know. i don't want to take any kicks of the nuts no i'm good and a real convict Donald asks, he says, Yuri versus Glover. Is it fight of the year, fight of the decade, fight of all time? What mm, do you think? No. Yeah, well, I mean, it was okay. I mean, I wasn't super psyched on that one. I was I like the Wei Li versus Yin J Check fight the most on that card, but I I'm weird sometimes. <laughs> I like certain things. True story. Like lollipops in my mouth and butter in my ass. Something like hard, that. Hard to argue that. Guy can knowledge. Yeah, I watched a movie the other day. It's on Netflix. It's called Hustle. Adam Sandler. Just okay. Came out, just came out. Uh, I think him and LeBron James uh, cre- co-created this thing. And it, it's actually pretty good. I, I like Adam Sandler movies. It's not a comedy. He's, he plays a more serious role. And, and mm-hmm. the it hits you in the feels a little bit at times. So if you'd like basketball at all, there's a lot of cool like basketball footage. So it was, a, he's a scout for the Sixers and there's a story there. He's trying to find the next star. So it's pretty good. I liked it. Short hour and a half in out done. That's good. What did I see? I saw Morbius. That was fucking terrible. <laughs> Fell asleep. Had to restart it. Fucking didn't like it. That's a bad one. And then did you see this? Darren Rovo tweeted out. It says, breaking Coke and Jack Daniels have agreed to can their famous bar combo. Now you can get a little Jack and Coke in a can. 5% it, alcohol. It's actually so genius, but I, I just can't understand why it never happened before. Seriously, right? Like how many opportunities did they have to do that that they never did? And then... Oh, God, this is so loud. I saw Taco Bell has this high-tech Taco Bell now. It's out of control. Oh, yeah, I was reading Taco about Taco Bell just it. opened up yeah. a new restaurant in Minnesota, and it's unlike any other. It's called Taco Bell Defy, and it's all about speed and efficiency. It's two stories and has four drive through lanes, but the coolest thing about it, in my opinion, is the vertical lift. Unofficially, I will call this thing the food tube, though. You can walk in and order on the kiosk. You can order at the drive through old-school style, but now... Yeah, I don't know about that music. We'll, we'll see. It's very 90s. This reminds me of uh, that movie, uh, Demolition Man. Remember Taco Bell uh-huh. was, was like the, the only yeah, best yeah. restaurant left? It was like fine dining. This is like the next step in towards that. It's, it's, it's happening. so crazy. It's that looks happening. cool as shit. Like, I, I can't eat there, but me neither. Um, I would try it. And then I saw this. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what this is. Uh, but apparently you can ride that so i'll just leave it at that and i think i have one more first thing in here it usually goes a little off the rails at the end oh this is someone posting a little love for red dead redemption mm-hmm. your favorite game yep all right this might be red dead 2 what's riled you up like this that's oh, right hell! Just walk away, you coward. I ain't playing. I'll shoot you right here. <laughs> what the hell? So, Calm down, partner. He got lassoed, and then he ended up blowing his own head off. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's like, yeah, shit happens in that game. It gets out of control sometimes. So, Like, what are you going to do? Maybe I'll have to fire that one up. I haven't played that forever. There's a lull in video games. Like, oh my yeah. God, it's killing me right now. Seems like some stuff is on the horizon, you know? Call of Duty or something, right? Coming out? <sighs> yeah, I think I think there's another one. Or what's the other? Battlefield. One of the two is coming out again. 
but nothing nothing looks fantastic and nothing for the new console has been error free they've all been buggy as fuck so typical for new game system so very typical yep all right that's it shut it down well that has been this week's edition of mma notes my name is Ingo Weigel Matt Griffith thanks for playing